make over the logistics of the race so nobody gets lost and we all understand kind of where we're going and what our objective for the day is. First, thank you all for coming. This is going to be fun and interesting. Um, <laughs> so the thing about the rules of this race is that I reserve the right to change the rules at any given moment to keep the field competitive. The logs are, the logs are vastly different sizes. And everybody has vastly different levels of effort and ability here. And so, say for instance, there's people that are falling way behind towing a big log. Maybe I take somebody off the people in front and tell them to go back and work with the people in back. Because I'd like to keep us sort of competitive. I'm not going to like pull you out of the lead so you lose at the last minute. <laughs> but, it, you know, if, if we're spreading out a lot, you know, we might have to shuffle things around to get things work, working a little, a little more cohesively. The cool thing about this race is it's really anybody's race just because their logs are such different sizes, you know, there's really no way to know who's going to have quite the advantage. But there's a lot of things you can do to help yourself. This is not just about like getting on the horse and grinding away because there's only so much force you can put into a thing that drags that hard. What you want to do is read the current and look at the river. The more you understand how water flows down rivers, because if you can pick up where the current is a half mile per hour faster, that's going to give you way more of an advantage than you just brutally like going downstream in a, stream in a straight line. When you start towing, it's going to feel like nothing's happening, and then the inertia will start to take hold. And if you stop towing, you could just sit there, the log will pass you, and then start dragging you. So it's, it's kind of an interesting scientific little experiment. What's the end of the race? Is it after the Highway 101 bridge? After the Highway 101 bridge, on the left, when you tie up the log, that's the end of the race, okay. and then we all paddle back to Nahalem, and we slowly show up at the pizza garden. Yeah, it's really late. We have to, like, get out. Can I get me a water bottle? Oh, my God. What a salty bunch of people. Okay, okay, I know you guys, you three, let me show you your lock. Okay, it's, it's over here. Well, this lock has at least one of these metal dogs pounded in here. So I thought it'd be right clip. Missing We're missing a log. We're missing a log. Yeah. Okay. and son should get a big one. Okay. Um, Ginny needs a small one. So I think somebody ought to be on the log with a paddle. I'm thinking about that. Far ahead, I'll take one off and send him to the back and make him tow for about 15 minutes. Hey, how about that guy we gave the petrified log to? Yeah, right. <laughs> Big 
Oh, the sweet, sweet, you know, view of these people turning around. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Not so bad without your man, huh? Did he say before he left, I'll call you? <laughs> A singing Schubert. <laughs> Those other guys are sure afraid now. Ancient tribal rhythms. I say wait for the tide to change. Exactly. It'll give you a real workout. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's catch these guys up. Do you like better? Do you like the log better or the kayak? Is it? Yeah. It's traditional wood. Okay, I got a rope in my kayak here. 